Okay, here's a question. Is there anything worse than pharmacokinetics and pharmacodynamics? Okay, so the answer is there's absolutely nothing worse than pharmacokinetics and pharmacodynamics. So what we're going to do today, uh, Simply Psych EDU Rapid Review, I'm Michael Ingram, and we're just going to define these two terms. Okay, so take those two terms and just throw them out the window. All right, we don't need that stupid nomenclature that just confuses you. So when any drug is administered, you can actually ask yourselves two very broad questions, and I want you just to think of it this way. One, what is the drug's perspective? So if this weird cartoon mouth that just showed up is in front of you and you're the drug, what, what do you do? Where do you go? So in other words, what does the drug do to the body? How intense of an effect do you have? Where do you go and where do you have that effect? So pharmacodynamics is literally the study of drugs, pharm, and what they do to change our bodies, dynamics. Therefore, in, in medical terms or in uh, complicated terms, uh, it's therefore defined as the study of the time course and intensity of effects of drugs. The second question, what is the body's perspective? So for example, you're the body, you're looking at the drug. Put another way, what does the body do to the drug after it's taken? This is called pharmacokinetics. Literally, the study of drugs, pharm, and their movement, kinetics, throughout the body. Pharmacokinetics is therefore the study of the time course of drugs and their metabolites or their breakdown products. So it's really not that complicated. So basically, the two questions we're asking, what is the drug's perspective and what is the body's perspective? That's literally what those two terms actually mean. So because I'm somebody who likes pictures and I just like, I'm a visual learner, this is a good diagram, I think, that shows you the difference between pharmacokinetics and pharmacodynamics. So pharmacokinetics, when we're talking about pharmacokinetics, we're talking about the, how the drug is administered, how much of the drug makes it to the circulation, which we call the bioavailability, uh, where the drug goes, which tissues does the drug uh, get into, um, and how quickly is the drug eliminated and metabolized or excreted from the body. And then pharmacodynamics is just the drug at the site of action and what it's doing. So what effect does it have on the person that you're giving it to? All right, I hope this was helpful. Uh, give me a like if you thought it was uh, helpful and uh, we have more videos to come.